I thought I would get one of my very favorite blogs out of the way or right off the gate in this new year. It's called The Black Swan. I believe that most of us tend to ask the why me question when we're faced with, um, uh, you know, an unfortunate event. And, you know, we never ask that when we hit the jackpot. We are kind of blind to the unpredictable, not kind of, we're very blind to the unpredictable. So let's just talk about last year's COVID. You know, how about the violence, the election? I mean, those are all black swan events. There's a fabulous book by Nassim Taleb, um, The Black Swan. It's the impact of the highly improbable. It's, it's a great read when you're trying to understand somewhat the nature of unpredictability. And, you know, the events that, that catch you by surprise, um, Mr. Taleb brightly points out that, you know, we society are obsessed with facts and trying to predict outcomes based on data driven facts. We must understand that all the fact seeking and number crunching at times does not prepare us for the unpredictable events that can happen, good or bad. So why do I like this blog so much? Well, darlings, it's about resilience. Do you have what it takes to bounce back after being caught off guard? Can you be creative to get yourself out of the pickle you know you're in? Are you enlightened enough to be grateful for the experience because it know, you know deep down inside that it made you better, stronger, wiser, and, you know, of course, a totally more charming person. Will you be wary not to be caught off guard again? Can you read the signs? Not the evident things that everyone can see or is talking about, but the subtle signs, you know, and something that doesn't quite feel right. So keep the black swan in mind. Do not fear it. Tame it conquer it, and above all, expect it.